Docklands London usual setup. Driving around through boxes. A lot of rolling around. The theme music was good. Britain's very own Crockett and Tubbs came in the shape of Jim Dempsey, tough New York cop, and aristocratic detective Lady Harriet Makepeace, played by real-life couple Michael Brandon and Glynis Barber. Together, they combated crime, but the real mystery was, when would they snog? Uh, the relationship between Dempsey and Makepeace was sort of that wonderful chemistry that made the whole thing work, because at the end of the day, there are million cop shows. What makes this one different? And it was the chemistry between these two characters. Well, Dempsey was a bad guy on the side of the law. That's how I sort of saw him. Um, he was, you know, a diamond in the rough. The sights are zeroed for normal vision. And it's loaded. He was everything she despised. He was brash, he was loud, he was crude. Understand this, my face. Sit. Stay. She was classy. He did a job last night with two mates that they were disturbed. The stuff in the warehouse was hot, and he thinks that his mates may be in trouble. Demure. They had an oriental backup team of two and were about to tear my head off, but I gave them the slip. Unobtainable. I'm going like a bat out of hell down Cricklewood Broadway with the ape and the roller up my tailpipe. Which to a guy like Dempsey, unobtainable is what you really gotta have. You know, she despises me, but she's gonna love me. You know, it was like that kind of thing. It's okay, sir. It's only Dempsey. Make peace me was Tinkerbell with a gun. Ready? On the floor, face down, head around the leg. I mean, that's how Dempsey saw her, not for me personally. Uh, I saw her differently. I married her. <laughs> Charlie Five, I think I need some muscle and quick. Our relationship became this focal point. It was just a phenomenon. I remember coming out of a royal premiere behind Princess Di and Charles and everybody took their pictures as they walked to their car. The next thing was pandemonium. We could not get out of the theater. We couldn't get to our cars. People on top of the car, on the hood, everywhere. I couldn't see because the cameras were going on. Down, <laughs> Running alongside, falling down, jumping on it, flailing. Glynis was hysterical crying in the back. You know, she was totally frightened by the whole thing. Come on. The party's over. Make peace. Have you thought about a career in teaching? Politics. The space program. You know, they're sending women to the moon these days. 